Welcome to episode 20, George A. Paolo Le Mans, part 1, From Tennis Champ to the Richest Man in South America. Here is an outline of episode 20. George A. Paolo Le Mans was born in 1939 in Rio de Janeiro to immigrant Swiss parents who were cheese traders for hundreds of years. Here's a map of Brazil. George A. Paolo Le Mans is a big country, big city, big self-made billionaire. My biggest surprise is he made most of his fortune at 70% from the United States and not in his own country, Brazil, which is a huge country. He is a South American who made his fortune in North America. Here are some of the most famous brands he owned. Setback number one, at age 14, his father died in a bus accident. His mother and grandfather would raise him and instill in him the ambition and the big thinking. He's a world-class athlete. Uh, he was five times Brazilian tennis champ. E esse por lidar no mercado internacional e assim, já pensava maior, era o pai da minha mãe, né? E então minha minha mãe era filha de um comerciante de cacau na Bahia mas que teve a oportunidade de estudar lá fora, de, 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 de ser mais ambiciosa em termos grandes ou assim. Ah, e ela que me tirou, vamos dizer, de ser um surfista, tenista, <risos> no carioca, né, que adorava o arpoador, adorava a praia, assim. Pô, e de repente, me vi lá em Harvard, que eu não, não era nada confortável para mim, mas... E ela que insistiu que eu ficasse lá, que eu terminasse e que, e que me abriu meus olhos para um mundo maior e assim. E minha mãe, que era muito ambiciosa, que sempre me incentivava a fazer coisas maiores. Setback number two, at age 26, he was bankrupt from his first business. I graduated from Harvard when I was 20, so I was very young. And... Um... Then I went to Europe and played tennis for a year and decided that that wasn't what I wanted to do like that. Then I came back to Brazil and I, I joined uh, a whole bunch of Ivy League guys, guys from Princeton, Yale, Harvard, and like that, who were setting up a finance company. And at that point, I thought anybody who had been to the Harvard Business School was, a, was really a genius and was certain to be a success. We went broke in three years. <laughs> In 1971, he founded Banco Garantia with $800,000. The next year, he hired Marcel Herman Tellis. Uh, what I did best, and what, it was sort of a surprise to me, mm. was really putting teams of people together, uh, finding great people, incentivating them, uh, working together with them, uh, giving them a chance to shine, enabling them, you know, and I think that's the, the most important thing that I really did and, and dreaming big together with them. And so that, 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 that's, that's what I've done well. And it's, it's not something that I knew. Uh, you know, I was basically a tennis player, a surfer, and those are individual sports. You play by yourself, you compete by yourself like that. And, and all of a sudden I fell into this Thing that I didn't have money, I didn't have a name, and so the the thing I had to to build on was really attracting the best possible team. Setback number three. In 1994, at age 54, he suffered a heart attack. In 1998, he sold Banco Garantia to Credit Suisse of Boston for 675 million dollars. But he's not done yet. Here in 2004, you have the Brazilian invasion by 3G Capital. They are the same three founders. They are the three Brazilians, Alberto Carlos Sicupira, Marcel Herman Teles, and Jorge Paulo Leman. Setback number four, in 2005, his wife died. He was 65 years old. He would remarry and have another three kids. 
2008 was a busy year. He began with the buyout of Burger King uh, for $3.3 billion and takeover of Anheuser-Busch for $46 billion. In 2013, he teamed up with Warren Buffett in a $23 billion buyout of Heinz Ketchup. Now he's Ketchup King. Next in 2015, Heinz would merge with Kraft Cheese. Now he is Cheese King as well. What have I learned today? Uh, Georgie Paolo Le Mans' life is like serving the big waves uh, with, with lots of big actions. Now at age 77, he's the richest man in South America. In many ways, his setbacks are as interesting as his achievements. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments below. Uh, next, I will do 10 lessons of Jorge Paolo Lamont. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.